Jesse, and today I wanted to talk to you about Kindle Unlimited and some different like sci-fi fantasy books that you can find on there right now. If you don't know, Kindle Unlimited is an Amazon service where you pay, I think it's like $9.99 a month and you have unlimited access to their Kindle Unlimited library. You can read any of these books as much as you want and it's basically kind of like a paid library service. You pay that every month, have access, and then you kind of like return them so you don't own the books, but you can read them as many times as you want. The thing about Kindle Unlimited though is for one, a lot of the books are self-published. So it's a really good way to check out new self-published authors, but then it's also kind of a detriment because you're like, oh, well, I've never heard of any of these books. Like, are they good? Should I check them out? So it's kind of that double-edged sword right there, but it's really cool because you're not like wasting your money reading a book that you don't like because you can just return it and get something else. Kindle also like rotates out books pretty often. I have another video where I talk about some Kindle Unlimited sci-fi fantasy recommendations, but at this point, some of those books are no longer on Amazon. Like they're not on the Kindle Unlimited service anymore. Some of them are. So if you want to go check out that video, please feel free to, but not all of those books are going to be available right now. Um, also, depending on your country, different books are going to be available. So some of the same books that my friend Abby is getting in the UK on Kindle Unlimited, I am not able to get on Kindle Unlimited here in the States. So these are sci-fi fantasy recommendations, books that I think look cool on Kindle Unlimited right now in the United States. The first one, so I've got my phone, I'm looking through the Unlimited app right now so you can see like these are the ones that are there at this moment. Um, the first one that pops up for me is the Air Awaken series by Elise Kova. I talked about this one in my other video, but this is a really good uh, like fantasy romance YA series. It's got five different books in it. It is self-published. And then Elise Kova has a ton of other books on Kindle Unlimited. There is a follow-up series to this one. And then there is her new book that everyone is talking about, and that is Deal with the Elf King. This is another fantasy romance, but this is a standalone fantasy romance. I have not read this one yet, but I do plan on checking it out because I really, really loved her Air Awakened series. So I'm definitely excited to see what she does in this world. Right now, you can also check out The Pines by Blake Crouch on Kindle Unlimited. I have been wanting to read The Pines ever since I watched the TV show that it was based on, Wayward Pines, and didn't know that it was based on a book at the time. So this is one that's kind of like, not really like fantasy sci-fi, it's definitely more like dystopian horror, and I'm so here for it because I loved the show, and it's just like a really cool, like mind boggling show. So I'm sure the book is even better. I know so many people love it and I'm excited to check it out as well. So that's one that I saw on Kindle Unlimited when I was looking. Another one I saw is they are having a lot of like graphic novels right now. And graphic novels are so expensive, y'all. Like, I don't know why they are just so much more expensive to me than like a full length, like a novel, but I get it because the art and it costs a lot to produce that in a physical form, but Kindle Unlimited has quite a few really good graphic novels. And if you have like the bigger Kindle, like I do, I have the 10 inch. Um, it's actually really good for reading graphic novels. And right now they have Saga. I don't know if they have all the volumes, but they have quite a few of them. Um, I read the first volume of Saga on Kindle Unlimited. Absolutely loved it. And I will definitely be reading the rest of them. This is a like sci-fi graphic novel that is definitely adult. It is very graphic, 
but it is set on this planet where we have these two warring races and we are following this male and female who are each from one of the warring factions but they like fall in love and the first scene in volume one is like her giving birth to their child and then they are like on the run from both sides and from mercenaries because like that shouldn't have happened and everyone wants to get them and I am just absolutely loving this series and I love that it's on Kindle Unlimited like I will be buying a physical copy but I think this is a really cool way to read it see if I love it and then buy the physical copy. Another graphic novel that is on there is V for Vendetta and I love the movie. I've been wanting to read this so when I saw it on there I got super super excited and I'm just like so excited to check it out because I want to see how it differs from the film and it just looks like the art in it looks really really well done and it's free on Kindle Unlimited so I'm definitely going to be checking that out soon as well. Another book that I saw on there that I've seen people talk about but have not read myself is Aching God and I believe this is self-published as well. This is the first book in a fantasy series and, and we are following an older male protagonist which y'all know I love following older protagonists as he is trying to save his daughter because I guess he is like an older like retired I don't know if he's like a mercenary but it just says that he's like an adventurer and he has to return to the spot of his greatest trauma in order to save his daughter and there's a lot of like gods and angry gods and I'm super here for it and I just think it sounds really cool and it is available on Kindle Unlimited right now. All right the next one that I am excited to read myself is We Are Legion We Are Bob. This is like a sci-fi book that I have heard so many people talk about recently and I was super thrilled to see that it was on Kindle Unlimited. This is set in a time where this guy, Bob, learns that he can, I guess, freeze himself when he dies or... So you can basically, like, cryogenically freeze yourself upon death and he, like, signs up to do that and then he dies, like, right after. Just, like, doing something mundane, like, crossing the road, I believe. And then he wakes up, I believe, like, a thousand years later and he come to find out he has like no rights because he's like a reanimated corpse and he is basically property of the state and at this point basically his consciousness has been uploaded into this ai and they are he is basically looking for like habitable planets and it just sounds really really interesting I'm excited. I know so many people really, really love this and I'm just excited to check it out myself. Another one that is available right now is actually the illustrated versions of the Harry Potter books. I own the first three of them. I don't own the fourth one, but I saw that they were available on Kindle Unlimited and just like graphic novels, these are extremely expensive books because of the illustrations. And I think it's just really cool that they're available on there if you want to read the illustrated editions for free and you don't have to pay like 20 something dollars a piece for them. All the beautiful illustrations that are there and just really enjoy rereading or reading for the first time while not giving money away to people. The next one that I'm excited about is A Whole New World, which is one of the like Disney Twisted Tales. I didn't see if any of the other Twisted Tales were on there, but they might be. I don't know. Just have to look. But this one is the like inspired by Aladdin one. And I think the Disney Twisted Tales are really, really fun. They are just like a twist on the original Disneyfied story. So it's like what if this happened instead of what happened in the movie or you know after the happily ever after so i really love aladdin and i really really want to read this one another one that is on here is sufficiently advanced magic 
and I honestly don't even know what this is about, but I know Lena at Sufficiently Advanced Lena obviously loves this series. I think it's like one of her favorites and it is a self-published book and I saw it on Kindle Unlimited and like knew that I had to pick it up because I love Lena. So I'm just like, I need to know where her channel's namesake came from. So this is another like self-published sci-fi fantasy book that I just can't wait to get my hands on. And I think that you might like it as well because you're following me. So if I like something, you might like it too. The next one, this one that I want to pick up that I haven't read yet is The First Girl Child. This is like a post-apocalyptic book as well. And I believe it's like set where no girls are being born. Like there are no new females and we are following basically the newest female to be born and like what that means for this society and for her and for everybody kind of wanting her or wanting her dead. So I just think that sounds right up my alley because I'm a sucker for dystopian and post-apocalyptic. Another one is one that I actually have read and highly recommend, and that is the Renegade series by Marissa Meyer. We are following this like group of superheroes basically we have our superheroes and our supervillains and our one supervillain girl like infiltrates the superheroes but we really don't have that uh disconnect in heroes and villains like we thought we would it's kind of very gray and very blurred lines like are the good guys bad are the bad guys actually good and she kind of starts to start to see both sides and I really, really enjoy it. I just finished this series as a whole this year. So I really recommend picking this one up. It's a super fast read. And if you like the first one, you'll definitely like the rest of the books in the series. Right now, there's also a ton of Rick Riordan books available on Kindle Unlimited. Um, Trials of Apollo is on there. The Heroes of Olympus is on there. Like there were a ton of Rick Riordan books on Kindle Unlimited right now. So if you want to read some more of him, I would definitely recommend checking it out because I know I have been wanting to read some Rick Riordan books. So another one that's on there that I really want to check out myself and I think I talked about this one in my other video as well, is Never Die. This is like a Japanese inspired fantasy. And this is actually going to be one of the buddy reads that Jesse May and Elliot Brooks are doing this coming year. So I'm pretty sure this one is one that will like stay on Kindle Unlimited because it's been there for quite some time. And a lot of these self-published books tend to stay on Kindle Unlimited much, much longer than like your bigger titles were. Because it's like the bigger titles are the ones that rotate out. Like, Brandon Sanderson was on there not long ago with The Way of Kings and Mistborn was on there, but it's not anymore. But that doesn't mean that it won't come back on Kindle Unlimited again. So like I said, just keep looking and checking and seeing what is new because there is always something new on Kindle Unlimited. But back on track, never die. An Asian inspired fantasy and I believe they are like building an army but they have to be dead first to do so and I just it sounds really cool and the cover is super pretty so I know it's just for Kindle Unlimited but still the cover is really pretty and I'm excited to read it I saw again that like Jesse and Elliot Brooks are going to be doing this like buddy reads for it. So definitely grab this one, especially if you want to do that buddy read with them. I know I will be. All right. And right now, those are all of the Kindle Unlimited books that I either am excited to read, I have read and I loved, I think that you need to pick up. Let me know if there are any books that you have read recently on Kindle Unlimited that you think I should check out because I love the service and I definitely want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth out of it. So let me know what books you recommend that I pick up. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. My name is Jessie and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.